Hello everyone, myself Bindu Nandi, Associate Professor, North Norway College of Science and Technology. Welcome to the session on integration of ICT in teaching and learning, a session on Moodle. In this session, we will see how to create a course. And these are the steps involved in creating a course. So let us switch on to the Moodle. This is the Moodle ID which I have created. So click on the site administration. Then click on courses. Again click on manage courses and categories. Which will give you a page like this. Here you have to click on this create new course. That will give you a page like this. And the course full name, I am giving it as Moodle course. And here you can provide this short name. So I am providing it as MC. And let the course category be miscellaneous. And the course visibility, let it be shown. And course date, start date, it is. You can see that it is starting on uh, 22nd. If you want, you can change the date, the start date and the end date. This is by default. So I'm just keeping it as it is. Now you can give this course ID if you are having it. Then course summary. So I'm just giving it as this course is giving, uh, creating this model. ID. Then you can give whatever you want here. So I am just typing it as creating Moodle ID. And then if you want to provide a photo or a picture here, image here, you can click on this icon and click on this choose file and just clicking on this picture and click on upload this file. So you can see that that image is uploaded here. If you don't want to this, you can just let, leave it blank. And then click on this course format. You can see so much uh, different formats are provided here. I am preferring this topic format. So it is topic format. Then number of sections, by default it is 4. So if you click on this, you can uh, see number different numbers here. You can uh, select this required number according to your requirement. I am just keeping it as 4. Then the hidden section let it be like this. Then the course layout, you can see that show one section per page or show all sections on one page. So I am clicking on this one so that all the four topics will be appearing on one page. Then appearance, let's be this, uh, keep all these default values. And the files and uploads, you can select this upload limits. So I am just keeping it as 2 MB and you can keep, uh, select the value depending upon your requirements. Now this, we don't have to do anything. Now you have to click on the save and display. So your course has been created. So this is the short form of the course. If you click on this, you can see the course. This is topic 1, topic 2 and topic 3 and topic 4. So we have created a course. Then I'll just go back to the slides. Now the next one it is edit the topic. So these are the steps. So I'll switch on to this model. Now here you can see that the topic 1, there is no uh, options are there to edit this topic. So you have to do, always, always you have to remember, you have to turn editing on. You have to click on this icon and that will give you these options. And you click on this turn editing on. You can see the difference here. This editing option is on here. Now, if you want to change the title of the topic, you just have to click on this icon and you can enter the name here. I am just giving it as session 1. 
and here you can see that escape to cancel or press enter to finish so i'm just uh, pressing this enter so the name is changed to session one now let us go back to the slide again some other options are there we'll see that also you can see this edit here if you click on this you can see edit topic highlight and the high topic and delete topic if you want to delete this topic you can delete and if you want to hide this, you don't want to show this topic to the students, you can just click on this hide. This will not be visible to the students. And if you want to edit this, you can click on this edit. These are the options. Now let us see the slides. Next it is to add an activity or resource to the topic. Uh, how to add a folder and how to add content in the folder. These are the steps and let us switch back to this model. Now I wanted to add a folder to the session 1. The procedure is you have to click on this add an activity or resource. That will give you a window like this. You can see different options are here. I am clicking on this folder. Click on this folder and click on add. So that will give you a page like this. You can give this name. I am giving it as notes, model notes. And if you want to give any description, I am just giving it as the steps are explained. explained and then you can upload this file here so for that you choose this file I'm choosing this model 1 from my desktop and click on open and then click on upload this file so you can see that that file is uploaded here so we can click on the save and display you can see that that file is added in this. So if you want to see the whole page, you have to click on this Moodle course which we have created. And you can see that this folder is added. And if you click on this Moodle notes, you can see that that note is there. And if you click on this, this file will get downloaded to your PC. So we have created a course and we have added a file and then added a PDF document into the file. Now to the slides. So we are seeing all this. How to create the course and how to add a folder and how to add content in the folder.